Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain unilateral Laplace transform, and then after I'll explain you one example which will gives you idea about how to solve unilateral Laplace transform. So basically, when we talk about unilateral Laplace transform, unilateral Laplace transform. then there is little difference in between laplace transform and unilateral laplace transform in laplace transform we were been taking limits from minus infinite to plus infinite of this integration but in unilateral laplace transform time varies from 0 to infinite so the basic difference is time is varying from 0 to infinite in case of unilateral laplace transform while in case of laplace transform time varies from minus infinite to plus infinite so, so this is the basic difference which is there in between unilateral laplace transform and laplace transform now to understand this better let us have one example so it will be more clear now see we have x of t that is given by u of t plus 1 plus u of t minus 4 now question is find unilateral laplace transform and laplace transform for this case now first what i'll be doing is i'll be calculating laplace transform as we have basic practice so first i'll do calculation of laplace transform and from that i'll explain how to calculate unilateral laplace transform so laplace transform of x of t so that is u of t plus 1 plus u of t minus 4 so if we apply linearity property then we can have separate laplace transform for both of this signal now as we know the basic properties by applying time shifting property as we know laplace transform for x of t that is x of s so if you have x of t minus t 0 in that case laplace transform will be e to the power minus s t 0 into x of s and even we know laplace transform from for unit step signal it has to be 1 by s so here time shifting property says if you shift time by time period t 0 in that case you will have to multiply e to the power s t 0 if you shift it by minus t 0 then it will be e to the power minus s t 0 that we need to multiply with normal laplace transform so by using this property by using this property we can calculate laplace transform here so laplace transform for u of t plus 1 we have to have e to the power here see shifting is plus 1 so it will be s into 1 and for u of t x of s is 1 by s so e to the power s into 1 by s that is what laplace transform of this term plus laplace transform of second term that is see here shifting is minus 4 so we can say e to the power minus 4s into u of t laplace transform is 1 by s so basically resultant laplace transform that is e to the power s divided by s plus e to the power minus 4s divided by s this is what laplace transform over here now as i have told earlier here we are dealing with to calculate two things laplace transform and unilateral laplace transform so when we calculate unilateral laplace transform one thing should be very clear for unilateral laplace transform we need to consider time t is equals to 0 to t is equals to infinite so in even definition you can see 
integration varies from 0 to infinite. x of t e to the power minus s t dt. So in unilateral Laplace transform, we need to consider a time t is equals to 0 to t is equals to infinite. Now here, if you observe this signal, then for this signal, time t is equals to minus 1 and for this second signal, time t is equals to plus 4. So we need to consider time in between 0 to infinite. So here first signal that is having time t is equals to minus 1. So in calculation of ULT you don't need those signal which is not in the range of t is equals to 0 to t is equals to infinite. So this signal should not be there in calculation of ULT. So this signal will not be present in calculation of ULT. So when you calculate ULT this signal is not present means ULT of x of t that has to be this only. So it will be e to the power minus 4s divided by s as this signal is not there. So normally we need to calculate Laplace transform first and we need to see the range of time which is there in between 0 to infinite and those signal which is not there in this, in this vicinity we need to place 0 instead of that that will be unilateral Laplace transform. I hope that you have understood this session. Please give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on your suggestions in future I will make videos which will be solving your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video.